Hi there YouTube land and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. Um, we're actually on a job. Uh, we're here in Christchurch in Highcliffe doing a uh, build of a shed. This is a slightly different video. I have been sent by a company and I will put the links up uh, on Amazon to review a pair of safety gloves. Now I use safety gloves. I use the normal sight ones you can buy in Screwfix and all of these places um, where build any Good, reputable builders merchants you go to B&Q you can buy some decent safety gloves these uh, are Andanda uh, is the company they are cut resistant uh, NBR sandy finish gloves and we have a number there 10556 mine is large um, so they've sent me them and they kindly asked would I review them on my channel I look like the perfect channel to review safety gloves well I use safety gloves and I'm going to be using a lot today in lifting some stuff out so here we go we are opening them unboxing unboxing doing another unboxing oh what's falling out we have a set of i guess instructions I'm not sure what you need instructions for with gloves but uh, i think it's just product stuff so we just have a lovely little distraction there from the uh, the customer where i'm working with um, so that was nice and she brought us a nice cup of coffee. What more could you want on a lovely day like today? Good coffee and uh, and uh, and all sorts. So anyway, back to the gloves. Here we are. Nice brand spanking new pair of Andanda safety gloves. So first of all, how do they feel? Well, they're going on nicely. They're I can see why they're cut resistant. They're pretty substantial. They're pretty substantial. I don't think you're gonna struggle with these. I would say they are, from a safety point of view, comparing them to what you, you know the red and black ones we all use from the sight ones uh, that you can buy in Screwfix and places like that and Tool Station. Um, these are pretty substantial. Um, I certainly know I've got them on. So I would say they are lighter. How do they feel? So. First impressions, um, these would be brilliant, I have to say, if, as we head into the autumn, it's middle of summer at the moment, but as we head into the autumn and winter, I think your hands are gonna keep cut warm in there. And what they've got is a great, if I just come over here, if you just follow me over here with a camera. What I do find with safety gloves is it increases your lifting ability, simply because you can grip and they are so grippy. So that's the thing about safety gloves. Not only are they safe, they keep your hands, in this case, probably quite warm, uh, but B, you have the ability, particularly when you're lifting, or if you're lifting like the eight before sheets, we've got the OSB down here. There's another thing, but when you're lifting these, if you're using just your hands, I don't know if you've ever noticed that, when you're gripping things, it's hard. But with these, you hardly need to put any pressure because there is such a level of grip with the rubber. Um, also, these are cut resistant gloves, so you're probably not going to get any splinters. And B, if you're doing something like um, hand carving with knives, which I do sometimes, then you're really going to be a lot safer with these. Um, so, but first impression, we'll show some more videos, <coughs> we'll show some more footage of me using them uh, later, uh, following on from this. But first impressions, they're really good. We're going to put up a link uh, uh, to, to where you can get these if you're interested. OK, so we'll come back to that. OK, this uh, this video I've been reviewing, which has been part of the same build as what you'll be able to see building uh, the shed and, and been doing the base. I've been conquering today. Certainly put these gloves to its test. These and Ander 10556. I'm a size large. Um, if you're concreting and doing things like that, then these are brilliant. Um, I've got a normal pair of sight gloves so you can see the comparison. Now the comparison is these are a lot, lot thicker. Now these are not cut resistant. I know that for a fact. Whereas if you're doing things like carving and working with really sharp knives, then this essentially is going to stop you cutting your hand, doing those nasty cuts that you, nobody wants. So they're brilliant. Um, they're thicker. Are they as dexterous if you're doing some fine work possibly not 
uh, and you might prefer that if you're doing some just some normal fine sort of things where it's a little bit more you need to move your fingers more then you're going to prefer something like this because they're lighter um, but as far as protection goes if you look essentially you can see all the sawdust you can see oh, not sawdust what am I talking about sawdust you can see all the concrete all up my arms my hands perfect it's really looked after my hands and, and, and if you and anyone knows if you're doing concreting that um, you need to wear some gloves because you just completely wrecks your skin as it does further up my arms but our hands are really important to us and you need to protect your hands so I would say these are a big hit um, they have certain uses um, that if you're doing really sort of construction work where you don't need to be so dexterous then they're perfect other than that um, they're brilliant if you if you still prefer to use these but i will put up the link um uh, where it is on amazon and it's your choice i'm not being i mean i've been given these gloves i'm not in a sense being paid to promote these uh, that's not what's happening here i've just been sent a pair of these gloves and would i review them on on a video i said i was happy to do that that's what this video has been about so you're free to do what you want i like these and i might actually get some more so i'm happy so anyway from me, Mark, at the Small Workshop Adventures, take care, everybody. Bye.